Would you like to know what I do with my Inktober's after October? Hi, I'm Maria with MyArtPixie.com and I'm here to help you unlock your creativity. And in today's video, I'm going to talk about what I do after Inktober. 31 days and 31 drawings. What do you do with all of those drawings? I'm going to show you what I have done and maybe it's something that you can do with yours too. If you're not sure what Inktober is, it's a 31 day drawing challenge by Jake Parker. If you want to know more, you can watch my last video where I went into a little bit more detail. So as I said in my last video, this will be my fourth year doing Inktober and I'm so excited. And the first year after I did Inktober, I did my very own coloring book. And then I did the same thing the other, the two years following. So this was in 2018 and then 2019 and I can't hold them all. <clears throat> So if you want to find out more, meet me over at my desk. Okay, so if you didn't know, I cut down all of my paper to 4x6 um, with the Bristol vellum paper. And once I do that, I draw all of my images on there. So <clears throat> after Inktober, once I have all of my um, sketches and everything, then I need a good place to store them. And I have found that these iToya folders work perfectly. Um, I get the 5x7, they come in various sizes, and actually I have different sizes to hold some of my other uh, larger pen and ink projects. Um, but I just wanted to show you how simple it is to um, label them as well. So I've got my 2018 with all of my fishbowl inside of it, and then I just flip the um, tag that comes in it, or the piece of paper that comes in it. Um, and I label it and you could probably make it a lot more fancy uh, type it out you know that kind of thing but what I do is I just simply uh, I'm gonna turn this around you just take the paper that they have in here and I pull it out and then I flip it over and then I just write on here um, whatever that information is for that year I'm going to do that now. So this one is my 2020. Fairy houses. <clears throat> so I just do that with a permanent marker and then I slide that back in. just like so and then I've got um, all three of the years with the original drawings in it so I'll just show you um, here is my um, my inspiration piece from 2017 that I drew and then I just have all of my um, sorry for the glare I just want to make sure it's good lighting um, but I think it's gonna be okay um, but then I just have each drawing that I did every day within this iToya uh, folder and I'll just flip through really quickly but um, for those of you who don't know I made my own list it was more of like a, a theme um, rather than following Jake Parker's um, list that particular year that's what I decided to do um, you can certainly like he has fun lists I would highly recommend following them especially if it's your first year but if you do want to do a theme you can totally do that kind of like what I did here so that was my fish so in 2019 I did travel um, and it was a lot of fun I added some globes and um, some lettering as well which I didn't do that with the fish bowl so that was a lot of fun to add that in so I did a lot of that <clears throat> of our parts Feelings are always keeping us close but it's strange now Dreams holding us closer Okay, so that was my travel and then um, last year I did fairy houses um, Whoops Flip back So, I, and I really, I feel like I mean, I feel 
feel like from the, the fishbowl to the travel to to the houses, like I just feel like I, I've gotten better and better every year. I did a pumpkin on the last year for Halloween. Ha <laughs> ha. Okay, so so that's how I store them, um, and then I just could keep, keep them on my shelf. I think that I will add a label on this side too. Um, either add a label or write it as well because I can't see it on my shelf. That's the only thing, so sometimes I have to like pull it out to see which one it was, um, and I haven't had this one labeled yet. So, so that is something that I think I'm going to do. I also know that a lot of people use the Inktober sketchbook, um, and so then that's automatically going to store everything. And you don't have to use the Inktober sketchbook, you can use any sketchbook that is out there. Um, just open it up and start drawing your days. I liked cutting them out like this, it was just a preference that I had, but you do not have to do that. Um, you can certainly uh, work out of a sketchbook and then you've already, then you already have all of your um, sketches contained in a sketchbook. Okay, so I talked about what I do with my sketches after Inktober and I decided the very first year that I was going to make a coloring book and it kind of came, um, it was kind of an afterthought because I had all of these fishbowl illustrations and I was like, um, you know, what am I going to do? And then I had a friend of mine, she said, if you make a coloring book, I will buy it. And she, she has bought several. <laughs> so <laughs> she was really excited about getting her hands on that. And she has also purchased the ones from each year as well. Um, and it's not really about like making a profit or anything like that. I think what it came from and having that discussion with her is that um, she was so inspired by the process of Inktober because she isn't an artist herself. But for me to be able to um, collect it, you know, make a collection out of it after the fact um, is a lot of fun too. So I am so glad that I've been able to do this year after year. Um, and so it kind of gives me like an end goal. And so if you're one of those people that are struggling with Inktober and you're like, gosh, I just can't get through it or like halfway I stop and then I just can't get to the end. Maybe having an end goal like this would help you um, to um, stick with it and, and pursue that um, kind of thing. And it doesn't have to be um, a coloring book. It could be a little Zen book that you make or something like that, or you could do a little flip book, or um, you could create like a little video clip or something. I don't know, just there's there's like a, if you have an end goal and something that you're, that you're wanting to do with your Inktober drawings afterwards, um, it could even be like a collection of your illustration. So I made mine a coloring book, but you could do a collection. I have another book, I'll show you. I have another book that I did and it has my paper brown collection so it says Maria illustration paper uh, pa sorry <laughs> brown paper collection and this has um, my drawings from um, the craft paper or the brown paper that I draw on it has all of those in it and it's just a, it's a collection book and so I'm sure you've seen some artists do a collection book so you could make that your end goal and decide you know what I'm gonna take those and I'm gonna make um, a collection book and then make that available for um, people to to purchase as well so and if you don't know I have um, rebranded so now Maria illustration is my art pixie so just throwing that out there <laughs> okay so let's talk about these coloring books really quickly so um, at the same time as doing each drawing I also did um, an Instagram post so on each side I put the Instagram post and then I put what I said in the Instagram so like let's go to day one this one is in black and white um 
It's the only one I did in, in black and white, but I'll, I'll tell you why in just a second. But I said happy hashtag Inktober 2018, starting off with what I did in 2017. I will continue with the fishbowl theme. I'm excited to continue and see what my fishbowls will hold. Uh, hashtag Inktober. So I had taken a picture of this first illustration that I did here, and then I just made it black and white. Um, like I did the filter over it. So that's what I did. And I did uh, some seashells in the background. Um, so that's why that's black and white. And then of course here um, is the, the illustration um, that I did for that. So, <clears throat> so it just goes page by page. And so I've got my layout and I've got what I said on um, in Instagram, which was a lot of fun. It was fun setting, setting up these um, like flat lay photography um, each day. Um, and then this one, I actually um, made those fish papers to then create the um, photo, which was a lot of fun. So yeah, so I know that I already flipped through my book, but I'll, I'll flip through this really quick too, just to show you everything's kind of blown up and then um, big enough so that you know you can color it and I purposely did this so that the there wouldn't be an image on the other side so in case you did have like if you used a marker then you wouldn't and it did go through the paper or something like it wouldn't ruin the next um, drawing so I did purposely space them out that way and you can go check out my Instagram. It's um, my art pixie um, at my art pixie is my handle, and you can see all of these um, pictures from 2018, 2019, and 2020. Meadows of our youth, a hundred and seven days. They're calling it backwards. Our dreams holding us closer. And then this one, so I held it up against some pumpkins because, you know, you end on the 31st. And so usually, you know, you're, you're uh, celebrating Halloween or you're out. And um, I was at my sister's house and we always pass out candy um, to the, her neighborhood kids. And so, um, so I took that picture there. But I said, day 31, hashtag Inktober 2018 and 2018. And I am out until next year, hashtag Inktober. So that was my last one for that year. And then on the back, I always put some examples and then a picture and a little bit about me and my website and everything like that. So there's that one. And then I'll just quickly go through the other ones because it's basically the same layout. I just followed the exact same layout with my Inktober for my first one. I said happy hashtag Inktober 2019. This year will be all about travel and I will continue with this theme throughout the 31 days of October. I'm excited to continue and see what see what adventure awaits. Inktober hashtag Inktober. So see I had already decided I was gonna finish. So it's one of those things where you're like, I'm kind of struggling. I'm not really quite sure if I'm going to be able to make through, make it through. But I already decided day one that I was going to finish. So I just had that mindset that, hey, I'm going to do this. Ooh, we can see so where I asked um, day 13 hashtag day 13 of Inktober 2019 which path would you take comment below and there were tons of people that commented below so that was a lot of fun like I said to just get people involved is 
And then travel on. So this is my last page and I just thought it was fitting. I have all the trees and the, um, the girl is, you know, walking down the path and traveling on to her next adventure. So, so fun. And then I put a different picture. This is um, a picture that I took um, in Nashville in front of one of the murals. And um, yeah, this was, you know, all, some examples and things like that. So, all right, last one, fairy houses. Um, so same thing. So I did my, um, my flat lay and everything for this year. I had my original watercolor that I had done. And then the little one that I had, um, created. So I said, happy hashtag Inktober 2021. This year I will be inking up fairy houses inspired by this ink and wash watercolor I did back in 2017. Here goes 31 days of drawing, starting with my updated version from my inspiration. Thank you for following along. The song is the same now. In June, lifting us higher. Ooh, we can see so clear. Ooh, we can see so So yeah, so between how I store my originals and how I have turned them into something um, that has created somewhat of a collection, um, I think the main purpose of this video is just to say, hey, you can have an end goal for your Inktober. And even if that is that you have a collection of sketchbooks, or maybe you want to create little zines, um, there's lots of different things that you can do. If you guys have some creative ideas, don't hesitate to share those ideas below with everyone. I hope that you guys enjoyed seeing all of this and what I've been able to do in the last three years. Thanks for watching, and if you didn't catch my last video, go watch how I prep for Inktober, and I am so excited for this year. I hope you are too. Until next time, bye!